What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a new tweak in beta called Reach App. Now you will have to add a repo for this tweak and I'll put that on the screen right here as well as in the description below for you guys to just copy and paste. Now once you've added that repo, you can go ahead and download this tweak for free. And what it's going to do is allow you to split screen your device using reachability. So let's first jump into the settings here. This is the Reach App settings panel and you can see there's only four toggles. First just being the enable switch. Then you can either show the notification center or the last app that you were in. So if you just want to show the notification center, then you would toggle this on. Now you also have disable auto dismiss. So that basically means that it's going to stay up. Reachability is going to stay up until you dismiss it rather than automatically dismissing. And then of course you have enable rotation. So you can use this in landscape mode for landscape mode compatible devices. Now, keep in mind that this is in beta, so not everything is working extremely fluidly or anything like that, but it still is a really cool tweak and a really great idea. So this is gonna give you an idea of what this tweak does while it may not be exactly perfect just yet. So all we have to do is just double tap on the reachability button or the touch ID button, and it's gonna give us my Twitter account, or it's gonna open up TweetBot right here, as you can see right there at the top. So we can interact with both of these applications completely and fully. So if we tap on this, we can go through my feed right here and just scroll through. You can also interact with this one right down here. And if you needed to you know, use the keyboard, you can do that as well. So if I wanted to write a tweet, I would just tap on that and you can see that I can type in the tweet right here. Now something that would be really nice is if this had a uniform keyboard right down here at the bottom. So let's just say that I was going to use the keyboard on this application right down here then it would pop up the keyboard like it normally would right here. Of course, if I wanted to write a tweet, then the keyboard would pop up right here as well. That would be nice. But you can see that you can interact. These are basically two separate instances of the application just in a smaller mode. Now you'll notice that I can't see anything right up here in TweetBot. So what I could do is just slide this down a bit and you can see that now that I can see it. So you just tap on the little bar in the middle and you can slide this up and down. Again, it's a little bit glitchy, but again, this is a beta, so that's to be expected. Now we can also use this tweak in landscape mode. So first let's go ahead and dismiss this and we'll go back here, go into landscape mode as you can see right here, and then let's hit reachability. And you can see this goes into portrait mode and this goes into portrait mode as well. But you'll notice that the keyboard actually doesn't show the entire thing. So that's one of the downsides of using this in landscape mode. So let's go ahead and delete that, but you can see that everything else works completely fine. You can still scroll through the entire side of the uh, my feed and TweetBot, and of course you can always slide it over if you're having issues with the keyboard, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and swipe this all the way across, if I can grab it. And then you can see you can actually get access to it, but it does take a little bit of finagling in order to do that. But this is a really cool tweak. I highly recommend checking out the beta. Again, you are gonna have issues, so you don't need to be asking me questions of why this isn't working or whatever in the comments below, just because this is, again, a beta. So it's probably not gonna work with everything, and you're gonna find bugs and things of that sort. So definitely check out Reach App by adding the repo in the description below, and let me know what you guys think about it. All right, guys, until next time, peace.